Hi, welcome to Moreau Notes. Today we're going to be learning about the Essential Standard 1.1.3. We're going to compare a variety of specialized cells and understand how the function of these cells vary. And so this is the part two to Essential Standard 1.1.3. And this is where we're going to be looking at specialized cells. And so the essential question that we're going to look at is what are the unique organelles and their function of each of the specialized cells? So we're looking at their structure and their function. Specialized cells that are in multicellular organisms need to perform a specific task or function. To do this, they need to be different than the other cells around them. And this is what's known as being specialized. And so let's go through a few of these specialized cells today. Red blood cells, they have no nuclei, they have no mitochondria, their main function is to carry oxygen to the cells. So by not having nuclei or mitochondria, they have a lot more room inside the cell to carry more oxygen, room for more hemoglobin. White blood cells have multiple nuclei, which allow them to fight infections or foreign material that come into our body. They're a major part of our immune system. A nerve cell has a main nucleus and a body that's called a soma and has these dendrites uh, that actually branch out to other neurons and then it usually has a longer section and we call that an axon and this axon will actually be covered in a methylene sheath and this methylene sheath will allow insulation so that no electric impulses uh, can get interrupted uh, let's say by another neuron and so then we'll have this button or the foot and then we'll attach to a sensor like um, in the tips of our fingers when we feel if something's hot or cold. But the main purpose of the nerve cell is just transmit information through electronic signals and chemical signals and that tells us just about everything that's going on in our body from temperature to pain or anything else like that. It triggers something in our brain which allows us to recognize that as being hot or cold. Muscle cells have large amounts of mitochondria because they need to produce energy so that the cells can actually move and they do this through cellular respiration. Sperm cells have nucleus for the chromosomes that will make us who we are today and it has a flagellum which will actually be like a little whip-like propeller which will move the sperm forward or hopefully forward. It has many mitochondria and it has an enzyme that's on the capsule that will penetrate the egg. Its function is to carry chromosomes from the male to the female egg. Xylem is a non-living cell that transports water in a vascular plant. And the reason I know that xylem carries water is because X and W are so close in the alphabet. So whenever I hear xylem, I think of water. Okay, and so it carries water and nutrients throughout the plant. The phloem, however, is responsible for carrying food throughout the plant. So when I think of phloem, I think of food. And if I have the P and the F, they kind of sound alike. And that's how I remember phloem carries food. Thank you for watching Moreau Knows. Now you do.